much. Are you mad at me? No, that's not it. It's just... well... it's a bit of a shock. Seeds of hope. Huh. That's what they called us. They were counting on us to bring hope and happiness to mankind, but... I hate it. I hate what it's given me. Raimi... Back when I was little, some of my friends took me to play in one of the forbidden areas. We didn't think much of it. But... We were contaminated. All of us. Irradiated so badly we had no hope. My friends all died in terrible pain from the contamination. But... This power of mine... It just refused to let me die. The adults all blamed me. Said it was my fault. She's a monster, they said. She's not human. Rainy, stop. Why the hell did you survive? You should have died like them, screaming in pain. That's enough. But then, Mom and Dad told me the truth. They told me, it's okay, you're going to bring happiness to us all. But how? Who could I possibly make happy? Someone like me? Someone who can live without a care in the world? Raimi! Ech. Raimi, you make me happy just by being alive. And I know Crow would say the same. My power isn't anything special at all. But... You're different. Everyone suffering from stone sickness here will get the medicine they need because of what you've done. So please, stop looking so sad. You can accomplish something. I know it. Don't worry. Take all the time you need. Sooner or later, the old edge will come back. <sighs> You've never done anything wrong. I'm sorry. I do need more time. But... Thank you. I feel a little better. Huh? <laughs> hey, man. Pretty nice show in the Coliseum. You sure were impressive, Mr. Hero. I don't know. You think so? I think we can do better than that. No kidding. Maybe he just had weak opponents. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. It was just a fluke, okay? Hey, don't get smart with us. We know your little secret. That's sort of yours. It's not often you see a treasure like that. A blade like that with that kind of power. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Anybody could have won with a sword like that, huh? <laughs> why don't you get to the point? Yeah, why don't we? 
How about you hand that thing over? Just set it down and walk away. Unless you want to get hurt. <laughs> I get it. Plain old goons after my sword, huh? I guess they didn't notice the attacks I was using in the Colosseum. I didn't win that fight with the sword alone. These guys are the same. Lusting for power beyond their means. Exactly the same. I knew it. Our very existence on an underdeveloped planet is dangerous interference. Look. This sword isn't nearly as powerful as you think. It's like a toy compared to antimatter. What? But I won't hand it over to someone who doesn't properly respect it. Got that? Quit your babbling and give it over! Yeah. Ugh. You little bastard! <laughs> who needs to pull a sword against a bunch of rank amateurs anyway? You little... Alright, that's it. You're gonna die, man! Fighting off all three isn't going to be easy. Looks like I'm not getting out of this scot-free. Well, well. Fate connects us, boy. You... you're... Muria Tionesis. Not that you need remember, of course. Ah, uh, no. Thank you very much, Muria. This is the second time you've saved me. I don't know about the Cardianon, but you don't seem like the sort that would have trouble with mere hooligans. Well, I, uh... But that's beside the point. There's something I've been wanting to ask you, boy. I never imagined I'd run into you here, of all places. What luck. Um, and what is it you want to ask me? I'm looking for someone. Looking for someone? Yes. And I thought you might have some idea of where I might find him. The man I seek was on a ship that looks much like yours. What? As I recall, he wore clothes much like yours as well. Oh. I believe he's an Earthling. Just like you. An Earthling with red hair. Oh. And, I tell you this, boy. He will die by my hand. Crow? Wh why would you want to... Oh? So it's Crow, is it? The name of the man I'm going to kill. Tell me, boy. Where can I find him? I don't know. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. Hmm. Your eyes were so lifeless when you fought those thugs. Who would have guessed they could show such fire? But I honestly wonder. Would you still look at me that way if you knew what the red-haired man did to me? What did he... What did Crow do to you? He... He killed my beloved. That wretched man destroyed my life. Nonsense. What makes you so sure, boy? Because Crow's my best friend! Look, I may not be able to believe in myself right now, but I still believe in Crow! <sighs> Crow would never do anything to hurt anyone! He's incapable of it! I don't understand you. You believe in that man more than you believe in yourself? What are you saying? <sighs> Not just him. All of my friends. Right now, they're all I have to believe in. No matter what you say, boy. I can only believe what I've seen with my own eyes. I despise the red-haired man, and I will exact my revenge on him. Muria! Once my business on this planet is finished, I think I'll have to follow you.
If you believe in this man so much, boy, then I have no doubt you'll eventually lead me to him. Edge! Bad news! <clears throat> At this hour? What is it? It's Sarah! She's like, disappeared! Oh... So Sarah's... What? 